Local leaders, community members, and advocates speaking out about a proposal from the Utah Department of Transportation to potentially build a gondola up Little Cottonwood Canyon. The idea here is to relieve some of the traffic congestion in the canyon. ABC 4's Lena Takata joining us live from Salt Lake County tonight. She's been following the story and she has reaction from both sides. Lena. Glenn, Utah is proposing two alternatives to reduce traffic in Little Cottonwood Canyon. One is expanding the road and enhancing bus services. The other is the gondola. Either one would cost half a billion dollars, and many people don't like either option. The Little Cottonwood is super sacred to us. I mean, we spend every day either between Big and Little Cottonwood Canyon. Sydney Stephen, an outdoor enthusiast, strongly opposes the gondola, saying it will permanently mar the beauty of Little Cottonwood Canyon, impacting all those who visit. You, they're not coming here to see a big gondola, you know what I mean? And it ruins it for them. People will stop coming because of that. Gondola opponents say the proposal is fiscally irresponsible and will have limited benefit to the public. Many of those opposing the gondola, including Salt Lake County Mayor Jenny Wilson's office, don't like UDOT's other alternative of expanding the road either. Let's invest in common sense solutions and are instead calling for an enhanced bus option without expanding the road. I think alternatives that are the lowest impact, possibly electric buses, paired with tolling options that would decrease uh, canyon use. But supporters of the gondola don't believe an enhanced bus option alone is going to cut it. I don't believe what was suggested today addresses the demand of today's population, much less 2030, 2040, 2050. And say the gondola is a safe, there's a huge avalanche issue in this canyon and we just feel like widening the road and adding more rubber wheeled vehicles will only exacerbate the problem in the future. Cost effective and reliable solution to the congestion in the canyon. We've seen gondolas installed all over the world that are effective at moving people in all weather conditions. That's why we support gondola. UDOT is expected to make a decision this winter after a public review period. Live in Salt Lake County, Lena Takata, ABC4 News.